Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 walkthrough. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you how cool this game is. This game is so great, simply because I can spend hours in this plane here just battling and leveling up in order to gain weapon points, skill points, etc. So on today's episode, I'm going to take that thing on. <clears throat> He's level 12, but I was able to take on his two little kids, his cubs that were over here, gnawing on that dead animal there. So I think we're going to try it. We're going to try to tackle a level 12 monster here. And if we don't, we're just going to get reset again. Up, so let's go against the I'm sad Bernard. Full steam ahead. He's staying on that rock. I don't know if I can handle him, to be honest. So we did a lot of damage there, but that's not nearly enough. I'm actually kind of worried here. I think we're going to lose. I'm taking the aggro from this. From him. Where did that healing go? I can still fight. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Well, I tried to take him on. That was the. Uh... Don't that was the point, right? We tried, and now we know that we're not strong enough, but hey, that's more motivation for us to keep on playing, right? Okay. Allow me to... to I don't know. I guess we're going to explore the plains and see what we can find, right? We got a little experience this points off of that, didn't I we? Accept. Anything? All right, so I'm not gonna go pick any fights. We need to explore what we need to do, right? What or and or where are we going? I think I'm going the opposite direction. I think we're going this way. Yes, as long as the numbers on the top of the screen are going down, you're going in the right direction. This so there we go. I, w I went in that so battle like super confident. An aching soul. And what's cool about Dromark is that if you're using Dromark to dig up stuff in the ground, there is a small chance that you can get double the items that come out of there simply by using his little botany skill. So that's pretty cool. We're going to keep an eye out for all these little lights that are over here. You can see uh, the, their collection points. This is an arrow, and we can see them from a distance. So here we go, Dromark again with that double items ability. One and two, look at that. That's cool. Right now, I mean, we're too early into the game to understand what exactly these items that we're getting are. So I'm really not too concerned with that. I do want to do this thing, though. No, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Wait, there's a quest. Me, me, me. Somebody help. <laughs> a Znus wolf trying to eat me. All right, let's go. Are you all right? Well, I have no fear. We'll help you out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Meh. Friends wanting to help? Yeah. Thanking friends, and please defeat Zeus Wolf. Wolf. All right, sure. We'll take care of it. Knocked about no pawn. Received. Hey, I was not expecting a quest. Let's do it. I said I wasn't going to do any more fights in the plains. We've been doing that for the past, like, 30 minutes. You guys are easy, man. No, no, Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Gemini loop from the side is awesome. There we go. We beat up some babies. Oh my. What is that? Oh, that's his stuff. Got it. 
I'm like, I do not want to fight that gigantic thing right now. Everything should be fine now. Me, me, me. Mio is afraid for life for a moment. Thank you, friends. All right, so on and so forth. Yes, yes, I know. Give me my reward for saving you, and I'm your friend. Got it. Knocked about no pawn. And we got a Puff Foundation and a Tree Sap Conditioner. We got some experience point, gold, and we got SP. That's a lot of SP. 34 for just doing that quest. All right, let's go for it. All right, so let's go back on track with where we were heading to. We can see over here that the town that we were talking about is right up ahead of us. We can beat these coyotes if we want. I'm all right. I wonder if there's a beastier. Wasn't there a bestiary in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X? Look at this dude. This is an area where I excel. It's the lumber company. <laughs> the lumber company, and I come over here and I steal his lumber. Let me ask friend buy this too. All right, well, apparently I can't. But we're on the outskirts of the town. Pretty cool, huh? And look at this, like, ramp. It's just begging for me to run up it with a tiger. Oh, come on. That's dumb. All right, so this is the lumber company. Uh, apparently, I'm going the wrong way around it. Not a big deal. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. It's never the wrong way if you find a treasure I wonder chest. wonder what we will find. Why doesn't your botany skill work over here? We got a beast hood. I don't know. I don't know what a beast hood is, but... Okay, so that's the town outskirts. Okay, there's a lowly animal. I do want to beat it up so bad. Trust me, I do. But, uh, I won't. This is an area where I excel. I want to get strong enough to beat up that lion. I do. We were doing pretty well, but I don't know. Maybe I should let the computer uh, control Nia. And I should go back to, uh, what's his name? Rex. Okay, here we go. Hang on a moment, guys. Is it just me or is the cloud sea level higher than it was before? I think you're right. Uh, I guess it must be that they call uh, a high tide. A cloud sea level change is because the Gormot Titan were walking through it, right? At times, the clouds reach scarcely up to the titan's ankles, while other times, like now, the clouds are around its belly. With the clouds at its height, I guess we won't be able to get back up to the place where we can. Indeed, that area will be submerged beneath the clouds. But the titan's always moving. I'm sure the clouds will lower again sooner or later. Quite right. I heard about stuff like this, uh, but it's kind of amazing to see it firsthand. You don't get phenomena like this in Argen Argenta or Leftheria, that's for sure. All rest really is a big place. All right, that's enough gopping. Let's get going. Toragoth is so close now I can smell it. Toragoth, eh? All right, the titans of Alrus are surrounded by the Cloud Sea. As Rex and his friends were just discussing, the Cloud Sea has tides that come and go. The shifting tides will close off places that you could once visit, as well as opening up places that you could reach, so plan your adventure accordingly. You can check the status of the Cloud's tides by looking at the environmental indicator. Take a look at the newly added icon in the top right corner. If the cloud sea level is shown above the median line, the clouds are at high tide. Uh, opposite. Got it. Oh, okay. So we're at high tide right now. Hey, look what I found! Cool. What did you find? You found the town! So, this is Toragoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Mia? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an inn. Then I'm out of here. Don't go. I was just getting used to how your uh, play style is. Whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. A remarkable. 
remarkable likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some of them? Uh, no. <laughs> I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. <laughs> Rex is like, uh... Bye. Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility. For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall, come now. Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? We'll look after us. But please. I, I know it's dangerous. But if I can be become a driver. Out of the way, squeak. Go. All right. Come on, Blade Boy. Oh, show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. Oh ho! All bark and no bite! What a shame! Oh, what just happened? All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Step forward, sir, with bold heart! Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Don't do it! There's your aptitude. crystal turn into a weapon that is how blades are born rex what but when i touch pyra's she's a special case pyra's the aegis remember so the usual rules don't apply all that business with sharing her life force it's not exactly normal wait what does the aegis even mean gin and malos they called her that too dunno all I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. That's insane. Like, you just gamble your life? For what? Gormoth's largest settlement, uh, now it's time to talk about developing towns. The towns in Allrest are rated according to the level of development. This is called the developmental level, or dev level for short. A town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. 
When your NA Towns level goes up, then you can expect the price of goods in the shops to go down. Some shops might even expand their ranges and sell never-before-seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residence difficulties. You can also earn a few dev points by talking to people you meet. You can view the dev level by going to main menu skip travel. As public spirited citizen of Allrest, you should do all you can to raise the dev levels of its settlements. All right. Well, sure. Uh, have you been shopping yet? Oh my gosh, tutorials. That's fine. I don't mind the hand holding. If you make it to a new town, make sure you check out the local merchants have to offer. There's a good chance they'll have a few new products that were previously unavailable to you. You might even want to use skip travel to head back to Argentum to see all the goods there compared to the ones here. Okay. That sounds cool. Uh, salvager gear. Uh, sure. Oh, hey, cylinders. Hey, we remember those. 2,000 gold. I got 13,000 gold. That's awesome. Dude, I wish I didn't give 90,000 away to my parents or my aunt, whatever. Mass snack exchange. Uh, we buy salvage treasure at reasonable rates. Okay. Uh, available sets. Snow ring. Helix tube. I don't have any of this stuff. Okay, so that's what they were talking about. Maybe building some of the things and then selling them. Okay, we got artwork. Uh, your one-stop shop with the best artwork? Why would I need artwork? The girl on the hill. I guess I'm gonna buy one. Oh, okay, so whenever you use it, you get affinity uh, gain. Alright, that's pretty cool, I guess. Music. Uh, what else are we buying? And this is specials recharge in uh, recharge even more. Okay, so 80% more every second. All right, that's pretty interesting in case you're going into some crazy battles. So if you want to go grinding, uh, I would definitely say using that. Okay, so we got cores over here. You're still setting up. All right, you've got uh, odds and ends from Casa. Gormot head, for what? Why would I want to buy one of these? I guess I'm just going to buy one for the heck of it. <laughs> K-Doll's accessories, hello. Beast hood, oh, I bought, I got a beast hood. Nopon mask, increases aggro every second. Axe attachment, increases the power of great axe class weapons. Uh, Mega Lance, Red Thread, Wolf Shoes. It's not like I can just straight up wear these, right? It's not like I can just wear clothing. I only have two accessory slots. Let me look. Yeah, why would I... Why would I want to sacrifice... Oh, aggro reduction. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Don't need any of that stuff. How about you? What do you got? Oh, core chips. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Fang chip, wing chip. Ooh, auto attack, crit rate, fire. This is good. I will I will totally take this one. Wing chip. Or maybe I should weigh... <laughs> I don't know. How about anything for you? Oh, that's going to be better than that other chip that I just found, right? So auto attack is going to go up to 43. Sword. Oh, I never paid attention to that. So, Dromark, you have, um, what's your abilities? Oh, Raging Tiger. Slash repeatedly by unleashing your inner beast. Attack all enemies and heal allies with a wave of ether. Oh, dude, I should hold out until number two. Shoot forward all ether collected by the rings and then follow up Wild Roar with an overwhelming assault. That's cool. Debuff cancel. All right, I never really looked at those rings before. But yeah, we got some chips that we can, uh, little cores that we can get. I like that. Here's Madi. Hey, Madi. I can't talk to you from the other side of that. All right. Okay. Let's hear the details. All right. All the handmade. Yada, yada. Cool. That didn't do anything for me. All right. So we got the fishmonger. 
<laughs> like a pirate just jumping around like a fool. All right, so this is uh, ether damage taken. All right, so we don't necessarily need fish, unless it's like a good fish that reduces the damage, physical damage, but no. Okay, so we got butchers. Dude, there's a lot of people here. Get out of here. <laughs> Jumping over people. All right, yo fan. Hey, yo fan, what is going on? Is this an invisible wall? Cause I can't, I have to talk to these fools. Okay, drivers, enroll immediately. Okay, so on and so forth. Are these people honestly in my way? What? That's so bogus. Okay, so we got the exchange. I kind of want to go see exactly what they were talking about. Let's skip travel. Let's go back to uh, the Argen Argentum Trade Guild. Let's go to Central Exchange. And let's see what we can buy over there. I mean, they wouldn't just kind of throw that little hint let's rest the spell. out of nowhere, so, right? Someone's got we? cores. Oh, that's the hobby store. That's the music, the books. Uh, what kind of drinks? Hold on, hold on. I saw something that we can see, like... What's your name's favorite drink or whatever? Let's see. Uh, details. Where do we see that? I don't remember where I saw it. I saw it in the menu somewhere. Like, here's their favorites of this and whatnot, so. Twinkle juice? Party gauge gain? I don't know, that's not really something that we need. But what if it's what's her name's favorite, Pyros? All right, so we've got some cosmetics that we can purchase. What is this for? Uh, base affinity? Plus affinity gain. Uh, that's all right. Accessories. This is where it's at. You got anything better? Rigid vest. Attack stone was good. Friendship ring. Yeah, we've seen all these things before. Uh, increases ether. Don't need that. All right. Good job. You are a sword. Core chips. Here we go. Tin chip, dude. Forget this. You don't have anything good. Why they tell me to come back here? This is the core store, what do you got? Okay, so he's still working on his stuff. The Courier. And this is the Whiteside Salvaging, Rui Rui. Oh, and then these are the cylinders which you can buy, got it, for 1800. Looking to transfer some cash? No. I need my money. But there is a quest over here. Uh, let's see what we can do about taking the quest. <coughs> That's not a quest. You're picking a fight with us. You're on. What the heck? Mies urchin. No one out of here. We don't need to fight these things. I, I'm here to like explore the shops and do some shopping. I don't care about that. And I don't like it that I have to pick up all my money. This looks like uh, it had value. Tor tor. All right, who's the quest that I'm gonna accept? Is it from you? That's pretty neat. Oh, it's 14 steps away. It's It seems like it's maybe up top over there. All right. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's anything I need to uh, accept. There's Bana. Bana Banana. Aha, here's the quester. You! Oh, left all clear, right all clear, front all clear. Uh, right, your shift is not okay. We gotta take over the watch, so on and so forth. He wants something. All right, and maybe if we do this quest, we can boost up the, I don't know, the power of this entire area. Better late than never, received. Make it the active quest, sure. I wasn't honestly paying attention. What do you want me to do? Uh, okay, so he, we need to find the dude. So he's 
not here. I'm probably gonna jump down. Oh, doggy took some damage. Yeah, he's right up here. It's this guy. We were trying to talk to him earlier. You forgot to go to your guard shift duty. What? You want a cinnamon roll? Oh, cinnamon roll? What the heck? And honeycomb sweets. You want me to go buy stuff? All right, so we're going to do fetch quest. At least one fetch quest. But luckily we got our tiger and we go real fast. And what's this? Oh, whoa, that's really good. Narsa pear jelly. That's really good. Recharges arts like 40% faster? For 2,000? Ah, uh, it seems like it's a consumable though. I don't really want to focus on consumables. I'm more of the kind of guy that wants to get like some cores, get me some long-term stuff. So that we can be better off. But like if you guys want to play along with, I would totally get the consumable, jump back into that field with all the level 10 enemies, all the level 12 enemies, 17, and just go for it. It'll make things a lot easier. Okay, better late than never. What am I doing here? Uh, where is Limu? No. I don't even know what I did there. I wasn't listening to it, but whatever. Uh, haul up that sly crabble at the salvage deck, Argentum, to retrieve his necklace. Details. Uh, go get him. Objective. Haul up that sky, sly crabble at the salvage deck. So here, is this the salvage deck? Yeah. I gotta go get a cylinder in order to do it. Oh my gosh, wow. You guys can have all the time in the world to do all these fetch quests and whatnot. Go for it. I highly implore you guys to do it, but I'm not in the mood for that right now. Okay, I got two of those. Let's go fish up a sly crabble. Time for some treasure hunting. Time. Are you kidding me? Onwards. Are you double kidding me? The first one's super hard oh, to get, man. I don't know. Salvage. Okay, we got one. You're picking a fight with us. This isn't a, a sly crabble, it's an esco crabble. I hope it is something good. Did we find a necklace? We didn't. So we have to keep on trying this until we get like RNG based stuff? Like what's the deal? Time for some treasure hunting. I just got a perfect. Right. I did it a little bit earlier than normal. This looks like it'll be something good. This better be what I needed. Okay, there's a crabble. Maybe it's just a random drop. I don't know. Great. We caught us off guard. Okay, so this is the sly crabble. Cool. Spirits high. Cool. Nothing we cannot so we did get the necklace that we were looking for. I wonder Let's get this treasure. Okay, very nice. We're gonna go talk to this guy. We better get the best item in the world for this quest completion. Go to work. Okay, report back to him at the very top. Oh my gosh. 
us. It's a new day, everyone. You couldn't just teleport me up there and say, hey, thank you for your work. We found him. No, of course not. You're going to make me walk all the way the heck up there. On a lion, nonetheless. Magical tiger. Hey. All right, good Gabby. Okay, looks like everything worked out. Here's the generous reward. Better late than never complete. Doing one side quest and one side quest only. We got leather gloves and wolf shoes. At least I'll take the 54 SP. That's a lot. Okay, avoid the crowds at Abel's Fountain and take the back route to Abra Street. I guess we're going to do that on the next episode, aren't we? All right, so let's do a quick travel uh, to the Gormont Province in uh, Torogoth and the Torogoth Arch. Okay, so we got to there's a big crowd that's blocking us. We got to go around it. So that's pretty much what it's saying. Phew. That was a slog. Now just go. Okay, I still want to get some cores though. Like I'm I'm here. There's the fish dude. You're the core dude, right? No, you're the... Who are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need this. I need the strong stuff. All right, wing chip. We're going to do it. I'm going to buy one. Actually, should I buy two? Yeah, I should buy two. One for each of us, right? Yeah, totally. One, two. You got howling rings. Great. No special effects. Not a big deal. I bought two though. So. <laughs> like it auto equipped one? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, fang chip. Yeah, wing chip. That's the one. Sword of the Dingo. <laughs> Alright, Sword of the Dingo, baby. All right, awesome, that sounds amazing, cool. All right, so we're gonna end off the episode right here, ladies and gentlemen, we did a little bit of shopping. On the next episode, we're gonna continue to work our way around. We kind of know what items are over here and how we get stronger on our weaponry. So uh, yeah, I, I wish we had more accessory slots, like the ability to actually put on those wolf shoes or wolf socks or whatever the heck we got. Either way, we'll figure it all out. We're all beginners at this game anyway. It's all brand new to us. So thank you guys so much for being here and supporting the series by smashing that like button. All of your views and all of your support definitely help out. So of course, play along with by downloading the game on the Nintendo eShop or purchasing it. Go for it. Watch our newest playlist here, our newest video there, recommendations, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.